Good morning, boys and girls, kids and campers. Dennis here, KCMD. Uh, I'm back out here to this field that I am now going to call the uh, Colonial Copper Field. Um, and uh, you spent all day here yesterday. It was hot, hot, hot up into the high 80s. Today's a lot better. It's much cooler. Um, there's a little bit of a breeze coming up this afternoon, and, and tomorrow's going to rain. So we're going to hit this hard today. Maybe we'll find another largey or, 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 dare I say, another colonial copper. Now, I was able to identify a year on that, th that, that first copper coin of 1787. And I tell you what, I'm just blown away at what I'm finding up here in New York State this year. Um, I've got that in a, in a, a solution to clean. Uh, and maybe I can pull a little more detail off from it. Um, we might see that again in an upcoming video. Otherwise, I'm going to head out here. I've got the Knox with the little coil. And uh, we're going to go see what we can find today. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you on the first good signal. Yeah, man. Okay, guys. First target up. Uh, first good target up. It's going to be a flat piece of lead. That's pretty cool. Happy to have it. See you on the next. There you go, guys. We just got a bit of a primitive hinge. Um, iron. Old. Hand forged kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to keep on going. Check that out, guys. That's going to be some sort of a farm tool. Uh, I'm not sure what, but that's pretty cool. Iron. Um, neat stuff. We're right in the hot spot now. Targets are starting to pick up. Okay, out of the same hole came this piece, and that's kind of interesting. I have no clue what that was off from or what it was used for, but that's pretty darn neat. We'll keep going. Okay, guys, check that out. We got a tool. It's an old-timey wrench of some sort, probably with the uh, farmers out here, not the schoolhouse. We'll keep going. Check it out, guys. I just got a bell seal. I don't find many of these, so they're always interesting and fun when I do. It's got a little mark on the front side. It's got a number 7P on the back. That's pretty sweet. We'll see you on the next. Hey guys, check that out. We just got our first button of the day. And again, I'm, I'm right up here in what I want to call my sweet spot. Let's go ahead and pluck that baby out of there. And take a look. I think it's a button. Oh, it's not. It's a rivet. Look at that. It's a little tiny rivet. Not a button. A rivet. That's cool. That's really neat. A tiny rivet. Sweet. I'm going to keep going. There you go, guys. we got a head stamp. Uh, shotgun head stamp. I don't know what that says. It's really crunchy, but uh, You know people hunted out here and uh, I'm surprised this is the first one I found Hey guys, uh, we got a small box or half of one you can see it's got a hinge right there um, Thin Maybe aluminum real light um, Slow going, but we're still working at it Okay, guys, got another big piece of brass like I found yesterday. I still don't know what this was, but uh, significant and heavy brass. Happy to have gotten another piece. Maybe we'll get enough to figure out what it was. Okay, guys, look here. We just found a little pony shoe or a donkey shoe. That's sweet. We'll uh, throw that in a bucket. Cynthia Swearingen really wanted one of these little ones, and... Uh, this one's a little rough, but if I don't find another one, I'll give her this. Nice. See you in the next. Check out the size of that, boys and girls. Now that is one big chunk of iron. It's uh, hand forged. Um, a big eyelet. Maybe, you know, maybe they had a tent set up out here and we're doing some kind of a, a gathering. And this might have been part of the spike to hold the tent in place pretty cool find we'll keep going all 
Hey guys, I'm swinging my way back to the car and look at that, I got myself another horseshoe. That one's kind of cool, it's got some big openings in the back uh, for the bigger nails. That's sweet. Nice horseshoe. Throw that in the bucket and continue to the car. Guys, I'm back into my hot spot area. Check that one out. That might be a button. I'm not real sure yet. I can't even see the phone to see if it's in focus. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit and we'll uh, send another picture. Well, guys, there you have it. Now there's going to be some sort of a flat two-hole button. Although, that may be a coin made into a button. Um, it's thin, thin, thin like that uh, Colonial I got yesterday. We'll uh, try to clean that up a little bit more at home. Maybe put it under the microscope. But we're going to call that a button. Maybe a coin. Yeah, baby. Okay, guys. Now that is a big bolt. Holy moly. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here pretty quick. Uh, we got weather moving in. So, guys, I decided to take a different path up here to this schoolhouse area and, and try to come at it from the back side. Uh, it would have stood right in front of this house that's on the other side of the road. It just got a great tone. Let's go take a look real quick. I know you guys can see that down there. I think we might have another big copper. Let's see if it's a copper or it is. It's a copper. We've got another copper in the field. Give me a second. I'll come right back with you and show you what we got. Well, guys, I'm not altogether sure what I've got here. I can see on the back there the number one. It's either a number one or an L. I'm not. I'm just not sure. Um, sorry, the bugs are eating me alive now. The front of the other side, I don't see much detail at all. Um, I I just don't know. It is a big copper though. I I just don't know what it is. Um, Anybody out there has any idea, let me know. Tell me what you think. All right, we'll see you on the next.